Alternatively, you could use your artwork as a template. I'm going to create a new document, Command N, use the defaults. In my case, the defaults is going to be different. If I paste what's in the clipboard now, it's your art, and I'm going to hold type Shift O to open the artboard. And now if I double click on that artwork, it will resize the artboard to that artwork. And now typing Command Zero will resize the artboard to my screen. Now I'm going to hit any key. I hit A usually to um, go out of artboard. Now I've got a layer that has your artwork and it's fitted size to that art. I'm going to double click to the right of the name and turn it into a template. That will set it to 50% opacity. If it was uh, vector art, that wouldn't work. You'd have to do it differently. But now I need to create a layer to do my artwork. And I have a Wacom tablet. Um, if you do any artwork, I would recommend you get one, um, or at least some kind of digitizing pen. And I'm hitting N to get the um, pencil tool. And now you could do a tracing of your artwork to help if I had this set to a black line. And no fill, X dash, there we go. And then if, and, and any time you have an, uh, an art or a tool selected, you can hit return to get preferences. Turn up, turn on the preferences. I'm going to turn off the keep selected. Now I'm going to deselect all. Now I could go through and just trace simply roughly the still coming up selected. I'm not sure why. I thought I turned that off. Oh, I turned it on. There. If you can trace, you can do this. It's not It's not going to be exactly what you've done, but this is a pretty freeform drawing, so I think you can. And you're going to have a lot cleaner drawing than if you tried to use tracing or something. Now, if you don't like the way the draw the line appears, you could reselect it and then redraw over the same line, and and it would update the line if you start and end on the line. There we go. And this is where turning on the um, keep selected is useful. So that's, and if you don't like the way the line is coming out, uh, try look, looking at the preferences and notice Accuracy over smoothness, you play with that fidelity, and um, if you want a line to close within a certain number of pixels when you draw the, the first and the last point, that would be where that would be set. But you get the idea. And it's actually kind of fun. This is with the pencil tool. Don't try using the brush tool on this. It's just not necessary and you can still, I could select all now of my artwork because the layer, the uh, template layer is automatically locked. And I could change my uh, stroke preferences, um, make it more, maybe more. 
depending on the size you're working with. And I often draw without, without um, the selection being visible. Command H will toggle that on and off. And then um, just trace your drawing. I think I better move on. If you find that your your line is too smooth, like that is, I hit um, R and turn down the smoothness, make it more accurate. So then, when I draw, it will more closely follow what I've my traced line. Okay. It, because I start and stop at near the same point, it should close. And if I want that to be less precise, I would push that up more pixels. Now, something like that I could handle separately. Now, when you see me undoing, of course that could be Command Z, but I just use the rocker switch on the pen to quickly undo. 